Maple Leaf Gardens, memories and dreams. The two go hand in hand. There have been a lot of memories and a lot of dreams fulfilled here at Maple Leaf Gardens over the years, and the Toronto St. Michael's Majors continue to do that to this very day. But gold is a seat of choice at Maple Leaf Gardens. The Majors are taking it one step up. They're moving down to the Air Canada Centre, where the colour is platinum. Playing in a huge building is nothing new for the St. Michael's Majors, who have made Maple Leaf Gardens their home for more than a year now. Last year, the Majors found an even bigger building to play in, playing one game at the new Air Canada Centre. This season, there are three games slated for the ACC. Willie Pop, the Majors Manager of Sales and Marketing, explains why. Well, it was an arrangement between uh, Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment Limited and uh, the Toronto St. Michael's Majors. This is the second year of a two-year agreement. And last year, we played a game against the Mississauga Ice Dogs on a Thursday night at the Air Canada Centre, and it was a, it was a tremendous crowd. And uh, this year, we were fortunate enough to get three games up at the Air Canada Centre, and we're hoping it's going to be as fun-filled and, and as exciting for our fans uh, this coming year. Now, of course, there's a couple still to come, and you've got a pretty good opponent in the Barry Colts, one of the top teams in the OHL. Talk Tell us about the two games that are still to come at the ACC. Well, we have the Barry Colts on uh, January 21st. Uh, that's a Friday night game. Uh, we think that that's going to be a tremendous game for fans and, uh, and uh, minor hockey to come on out to. Basically, we're playing a division rival. They're doing very well this, uh, right now. Uh, Sheldon Keefe and uh, Dennis Schwitke are doing a, a tremendous job for them. It's an opportunity for, uh, for everybody to come out and see a real exciting team. Barry Colts' uh, early uh, exit from the playoffs last year but uh, obviously gung-ho and ready to go this year and an up-and-coming St. Mike's team so we think we should do very well I think it's gonna be a fun game now of course the kids it's got to be a thrill for anybody to skate on Maple Leaf Gardens ice but I would think especially for the players on the majors and the OHL teams to get an opportunity to be in the Air Canada Centre where so many players have never even yet maybe in the National Hockey League have had an opportunity to play I guess keeping the kids down to you know, their heads out of the clouds is going to be the toughest thing. I think you're right there. I mean, obviously, everybody who comes into Maple Leaf Gardens looks around and on and, and remembers. And um, now that we have the Air Canada Centre, it's going to be even more so. I mean, you've got a, a, a clock that uh, is interactive, more interactive than the one we have here at the Gardens. Um, definitely, it's going to be exciting for the players. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of uh, nervous legs, and uh, and I think uh, with a, with a crowd that's going to be uh, you know upwards, especially with the the second game that we play where there's a super skills competition for the least prior um, it's going to be a big crowd a big roar and it's going to be real exciting for the for the kids playing now let's talk about the fans we talked about the thrill of the players to play at the Air Canada Centre but the opportunity to sit in some of the best seats in the Air Canada Centre Willie just doesn't exist at other events even if you can get into the building Maple Leaf tickets as we know Raptors tickets you can buy some individual game tickets mm -hmm. but you can't get those really good seats here's a chance to come in and sit in some of the best seats in the joint yes yeah, so I think that's probably the biggest sell for us uh, you, just exactly what you said uh, Maple Leaf tickets are at a premium to get they're near impossible um, and when you do get them they're obviously not the platinum seats or the golds or the reds that are the seats that everybody wants to sit in so when you come to a St. Mike's game at the Air Canada Centre uh, every seat's padded but obviously as, as to be as close to the ice as possible um, this might be one of the only opportunities that you do get to do this. So presuming then that hockey fans do come out in droves to the ACC to see the majors, what will the most important thing new junior hockey fans be exposed to? I think the uh, the OHL experience, the St. Michael's experience, uh, front and center. Um, again, it's an opportunity to, to experience the Air Canada Center, but at the same time, we're hoping that it will it will make fans of everyone involved. Obviously, with a family market that we're targeting, we're we're looking at the younger kids, and hopefully next year, uh, you know, they're going to want to come out more and more, and that could transcend into season tickets. It could be that these uh, that these teams that are coming out and playing in between uh, periods of mini games or uh, or playing just before or just after our games come out on a game by game basis to cheer us on. So the St. Michael's Majors are ready to exchange 16,000 seat Maple Leaf Gardens as their home arena for the 20,000 seat Air Canada Centre in the hopes that having the game at the Air Canada Centre will help fill these seats right here at Maple Leaf Gardens and if everything goes according to plan there'll be a lot more people in the goals, reds, and blues at historic Maple Leaf Gardens before too long. In Toronto, I'm Roger Lejoie for OHL This Week.